welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at uh, the parametric parabola, again x squared equals 4ay, and we're looking at something called the uh, chord of contact, which is actually, I guess, uh, if you're like, you're standing at a point outside the parabola, t, x0, y0, you're firing off two tangents, they hit the parabola, then you draw a line between those two points of intersection and form what's called the chord of contact. Now, there are a couple of approaches to this, and I've always seen it done with the, the, usually the Cartesian method, but I'm going to do it both ways today, and um, I'll just show you basically what happens. So the first thing is we need the Cartesian tangent. Okay, um, so let's actually, uh, we've actually done the parametric one before, but let's actually just have a quick look. What is, okay, we have a, we've got a point, say, x1, y1, and we know the equation is uh, x squared equals 4ay of the parabola. Uh, okay. Uh, so we really want, uh, if you like, the tangents equation, basically. Um, if, I'll just draw it off here. This is what we're after, the tangent. This is the tangent. Now, the tangents, uh, well, the tangent, actually. Uh, its equation, we know, is y equals px. Uh, minus AP squared, that's the parametric one, but we actually want what's called the uh, Cartesian uh, equation, okay, so we want the Cartesian equation of the tangent. Now, how do we do that? Well, we have to uh, go back to, okay, um, we know x squared is equal to 4ay, uh, therefore y is equal to x squared on 4a, uh, therefore actually y dash is actually 2x on for a, or if you like, just equal to x on 2a. That is the gradient function for the curve in terms of its Cartesian coordinates. Okay, so we now have to evaluate this at, say, x1. So really, um, at p, if you like, uh, x1, y1, we know that the m, or the slope, uh, if you like, of the line, and in this case the tangent, is equal to what x1 on 2a. So we now need to... Um, find the equation. Well, we just know it's fairly easily. It's uh, what, y minus y1 equals m. m is just uh, x1 on 2a, uh, x minus x1. Okay, um, that's supposed to be 2a. Okay, so we just multiply everything by 2a. Okay, we get uh, 2a uh, minus 2a, or oh, actually 2ay. Uh, that's, I've missed the y there. So let's just go back and just stick that in. So we need to 2a times y is 2ay um, minus 2ay1 uh, is equal to just, uh, what's this one, uh, x, x1. And then it's going to be minus x1 squared. Now, we have to do a bit of a, a little bit of a trick here because x1 squared, we actually make that, let's have a look. What do we do? Okay, so if x squared is equal to for a y, then, uh, and we put in uh, the point x1, y1, then really what x1 squared is actually equal to for a y1. So we just make x1 squared for a y1, basically. Uh, and then we move everything over, so we just say, okay, therefore, uh, let's change the color of the pen. What happens now? Well, uh, we have x1, x, x, 1 is equal to, now we move the 4ay1 across, uh, so we get 2ay plus 2ay1, and I can see 2 ay I'll just factor it now as I'm running out of room. Okay, so this is now what's called the Cartesian equation of the tangent. So this, uh, if you like, uh, is just called x, x1 equals, you can see here, 2ay plus y1. Okay, so that's the equation, or if you like, the Cartesian equation of the tangent. Okay, so we are now going to uh, look at, uh, obviously, the Cartesian equation from, uh, say, a point, uh, if you like, um, q, call it the x2, y2. And you can imagine the equation is just going to be x, x2 equals 2a, y plus y2. Okay, so let's actually have a look at what happens next. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so what would happen next? I'll redraw this. Okay, so let's actually just redraw this. So what's happening now is, okay, we have, yes, we've got 
a point P here. We have a tangent coming off. Let's change the colors of the tangents. Okay. We have a tangent coming off here. And we're going to have another point Q over here somewhere. This is Q and this is P. And we're going to have a tangent coming off there. Okay. And they're going to intersect at some point T, which we're going to call X0, Y0. Okay. Okay, and we know that uh, obviously at P and Q, the coordinates are uh, x1, y1, and Q's coordinates are x2, y2. Okay, so what is a tangent? Uh, okay, tangents equations. Okay, uh, at P and Q, uh, say P. Okay, x, x1 equals 2a, y plus y1. And at q, uh, x, x2 equals 2a, y plus y2. Now, uh, what we do now is we just say, okay, well, hold on. Um, the point uh, x0, y0 lies on both of those equations. Okay, so if we put in uh, x0, y0, okay, let's actually... Uh, T on both. Okay, therefore, really, uh, that if you put in x zero for the x value, you have what uh, x zero x one equals two a. Okay, y zero plus y one, and then you also have x zero x two equals two a y zero plus y two. And what we say now is, okay, well, you can see here that point x0, y0 lies on basically uh, an equation which looks like x, uh, x0 equals 2a y plus y0. Actually, I'll swap them around, but you can see here this is, this is the general pattern of those particular uh, points which lie on that particular equation. So this is now what's called the Cartesian, well, called a contact. So what actually happens is, yes, bingo, this thing here, okay, this chord, this is the chord of contact now, this is a, okay, that chord of contact has equation x, x0 equals 2a, y plus y0. Okay, so you can see here, that's a pretty amazing idea, you actually, standing externally to the parabola, you fire off a couple of tangents uh, uh, from an external point, uh, if you like, uh, x0, y0, uh, and you generate what's called a chord of contact. Okay, so let's actually now try and do it via the um, what's called the parametric way. That is the Cartesian way of doing it, okay, and which is usually the easiest way, I think, and most textbooks seem to do it this way. But let's actually now look at what's called the parametric way to find the equation of the quarter contact. Now, to start with, we need a couple of things. We need um, basically what the general chords, um, if you like, uh, equation is. So let's actually uh, redraw this. Okay. Um, okay. So now we have a. Okay. Still the probability x squared equals four y. We now have the point p instead of x one y one. We have it two a p a p squared, and we have q, uh, so q is at 2a, q, a, q squared, okay, and we've got the, the general chord, we know, you might remember, I did that in a previous video, the general chord, p, q, has got y minus a half, uh, p plus q, x, plus a, p, q, is equal to zero. That's that chord's equation. Okay. All right. So we know this one already. Uh, we derived that uh, in the previous video. Now um, we are going to uh, basically draw tangents, and you might remember also we actually find, found the equations of the tangents. Let's change the color slightly. Okay. Here we go. Oops. Uh, let me change the color. Okay, let's try to change the color again. Okay. Here we go. Uh, this, uh, okay. So here we go. Okay, now here's our T down here. Now, uh, you might remember the tangents had equations. 
basically at p. Okay, remember that one? Y equals p x minus a p squared, and at q, y equals q x minus a q squared. And you might remember that uh, we actually found the point of intersection uh, as well. Uh, I intersect at a point. Uh, I think it was just a uh, p plus q, and yes, it was actually a p q. Okay, and uh, if you remember back, that it was a focal chord. We let p q equal negative one, and actually that point was negative a. So yes. Uh, the tangents at the ends of the focal chord uh, meter right angles are on the directrix. This value here would be, this value here actually is be minus a. But uh, so we now know that that's t's uh, parametric, uh, if you like. Oop, what happened there? A, p, q. Okay, so we know t has coordinates, what? A, p plus q, and a, p, q. Okay. So we now um, know that that's T, but we, uh, uh, if you like, we're saying that really, um, that in fact, that's X naught, Y naught. So we now say, well, we equate that to X naught and this to Y naught and put it into the equation of the chord and we generate what's called the chord of contact. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to call this point X naught. We're going to call that point Y naught and we're going to put it back into here, yeah. the chord, general chord PQ. So uh, let's actually do that. Okay, we know the chord PQ just had a, an equation like uh, Y minus a half uh, P plus QX plus APQ was equal to zero, and we said, wow, hold on, um, x naught was equal to a p plus q. Okay, therefore what? p plus q, yes, is equal to x naught on a. And we also know that uh, y naught was actually equal to a p q. So let's go ahead and plug that in, okay, therefore, y minus, now it's a half of p plus q, so it's a half of p plus q is uh, x naught on a, still times x, and a p q has now turned into just y naught. Okay, so there we have, okay, let's have a look. Well, we have what? y plus y naught on this side, put on the other side, what? Uh, x, x naught on 2a, okay. Therefore, if you have okay, x, x0 equals what, 2a, y plus y0. Okay, so this now is again the chord of contact, as you can imagine, from the uh, external point T, which was actually the intersection of the tangents. This is done the parametric way. Okay, well, uh, thank you for watching and bye for now.